so far compared to the rest of the festival you guys have been at? It's uh, really chill. I love the flags. This is the flags everywhere. This is really crazy. People expressing themselves like in a different way. So that's really cool. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, man. I mean, the weather is pretty good. And we're just like super excited and happy and, and fucking ready. And we can't wait to play tonight. What was like your, your ethos going in on this album? Tu la fais ou? Well, you know, obviously it was all about having fun. You know, we've been making music together for the past, I don't know, like six years or whatever. And then when it was our time that we felt good about putting that full length album, it was all about, you know, exploring as much as we could and obviously, you know, make the music that Dirty Phonics make, but also go a little bit further, explore and be able to go through this variety of genres and put all of our influences, whether it was from the electronic scene or the metal scenes from back in the days. Um, so yeah, man, it was all about putting everything together, having a lot of fun and being able to share this with uh, our fans and, and bring in this full length album that we're really proud of. And, and yeah, it was just uh, just cool to have time to do it because all the singles and remixes, everything is we do in the rush all the time. It's like deadline and like for the album, we had like two years. You try some tracks, you keep it or not. I mean, you have the choice and you have, yeah, this is the time to do it. And that makes a huge difference. In a studio, I mean, there is different way. There is not like just one way to do it. So, but basically it's like all four of us, all four of us are working on something different. I mean, for example, Julian are on the main computer with the speakers. Uh, I'm working on, I don't know, the next live or the next DJ set or whatever. Uh, Thomas or Charlie are doing another tracks or focusing on management or whatever. And at some point, we're just trying to switch. So you are working on the live, for example, and you don't hear what they are doing on the computer and just so you have a fresh ear. Just so, yeah, okay, so what just happened? So, oh, there is a new stuff here, that's cool, that's bullshit, take this off and go and we go and I make them listen what's new in the live or whatever. And on stage, so this is all four of us in the same line, like basically like this. So these two guys are playing on, uh, on uh, pads, like uh, machines. So when we're playing our music, they play all the leads, the bass lines, the vocals or whatever they want to play and we are mixing on four decks at the same time and we can add some teases or making like uh, fast mixes and when we play other people tune they do exactly the same thing they add like I don't know samples on the top like a flute from a Beastie Boys track or uh, yeah I mean this is just question answer with all with everybody so this is a lot of fun and every, I mean this is like a discussion we are lucky enough to have exactly the same kind of insane energy everywhere I mean I don't know how to explain that but this is what we create all the time and I mean yeah people are fucking raging twerking mush bidding or whatever they just expressing themselves like a lot and yeah I mean we just like always not surprised, but just like, fuck yeah, this is happening every fucking night, so it's yeah. It's a dirty world, motherfucker. It's a dirty world. <laughs> you guys are constantly working on new music. Yep. Any, uh, any big collaborations looking out for? Anything dropping soon? Like... Oh yeah. So, we just did a remix for Linkin Park. And we just did the remix for Bogor. We have more to come. Uh, the next, we're releasing the next single from the album, the No Stopping Us single. Yes, and we have uh, remixes from Stevie Oki, etc., etc. Smooth and a special cover as well. We gonna you're gonna see it. You're gonna listen to it. Right. You're hear it. So yeah, you're gonna hear it. Yeah, this is the festival season, so it's in and out between Europe and US. After that, it's a European tour with the French tour. What? No, oh, okay. Yeah, so European tour. We've gigged in France, so we are super happy about it because this is our home oh. country. And it's uh, the next one is a tour in uh, Asia and Australia. Australia and New Zealand during the winter. So yeah, we're keeping busy. Can you guys let out uh, who's supporting you guys on that on that tour? You guys know oh, we that? still don't know. Still don't know. <laughs> And then we're doing the first gig on the moon, so watch out for this walk. Yeah. yeah. It's gonna be awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's the most outrageous thing that you guys have seen thus far, I'd say, on the Festi tour? You know what I mean? Like something that stands out that fucking you'd be like, people aren't even gonna believe it. 
Wow. That, that's, a, that, that's a tricky question. Actually, like, Puerto Rico crowd in general for us has been like fucking crazy. EDC Vegas. Uh, man, it's, it's a trick, tricky question, man. Uh, what would you say? Uh, let me think about it. I don't speak oh, English. You don't speak English? I don't speak English. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, well, the problem is that the answer, the great answer is not PG-13. So, um, we're not going to talk about all the crazy, <laughs> dirty shit that happens because that happens on a daily basis. <laughs> it is. You know what? You know what you can do? You can go online on our YouTube channel, check out our video. You'll get a little glimpse of what's going on on tour and you can't imagine the rest. You guys will get the rest from our radio. That's oh, right. Yeah. Come and party with us. Your time. Thank you. Happy Cambisco. Bye guys, thanks.